Welcome to Real Estate You with Letty Ann. Welcome back to our podcast, Real Estate You with Letty Ann. And we welcome this afternoon, Burton Kelso with Integral. So Burton, I was just reading over your bio and how did you get started in wanting to help people with their tech needs? Other than just getting fired from every job that I had. <laughs> Well, we all well, have to I, find our niche. <laughs> you are exactly right. Well, I was working at a local computer store and noticed that there was a, people coming in asking for technology advice. And at the time, this particular store didn't offer on-site tech support. So I decided that it would be good to offer computer repair services on-site. So I started Integral and started going on to people's homes and businesses, helping them get more out of the technology that they use. Uh, every day and of course back then was more desktops because it started the company back in 93 so it's more desktops some laptops but of course now technology has changed so much you've got printers and routers and clouds uh, computer clouds oh my <laughs> nobody I mean, knows just, where the clouds are. exactly right <laughs> it's in the cloud so, so but i'm not a nerd by any sense of the word i'm more of a person who just genuinely loves helping people out and i just kind of have an aptitude to catching on to technology really quickly. So that's my gift and I love helping people. That's awesome. So, um, I mean, you have a name for yourself around the Kansas City Metro and surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. um, you are extremely helpful with uh, technology, but you're also a great human being. So I've gotten to know you over the past few months and uh, uh, I'm, I think the universe has a plan with who we meet. Uh, along our path while we're here. Um, and I, I appreciate you being here. I know we're going to talk about, uh, you want to help us with some the real estate professionals right. with some of their uh, tech situations. And the first thing we're going to talk about today is uh, tips for LinkedIn. Right, exactly. I've got a, can I real quick say a funny real estate story? Please. So years ago, <laughs> when I started out helping real estate agents with technology, uh, MLS used to be on a bunch of floppy disks. So now you can just get on the web and access listings through MLS or the multiple listing service. And But back then, it was all on bulletin boards. So you had to have the software installed on your computer in order to get to MLS. So there wasn't like a ton of CDs for MLS. You had to find out which agent had MLS and then go retrieve the floppies and then load it on someone else's computer. That was in the 90s, right? That was yeah. the 90s, I yes. I remember that. That's too funny that you remember that. Yeah. But yeah, I just think that's interesting how technology's changed so much now. You just need a browser, your phone or your computer, and you can just access listings instantly. Yeah, it, and anybody can access the right. listings now. It's almost like uh, I used to work for US Air mm -hmm. in the 80s and early 90s, and um, only only travel agents could access uh, travel information. Right. But now everyone's making, the, we're all our own travel agents. We're all our own realtors. Mm -hmm. That's not true. That's not well, good. You can't be your own not, realtor, you know? <laughs> you cannot be your own realtor. No, never. Uh, and some people shouldn't be realtors, but that's a whole other story. Right. So um, LinkedIn, look, yes. social media, boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom. Right. It's just booming. If you're not on it, you're out. Right. Um, you'll die on the vine if you're not. Yes, that's true. But I think people, when it comes to LinkedIn and other social media groups, people focus on more marketing rather than the whole relationship building process. And I think that's the most important thing to take away from social media in general and on LinkedIn. It's not about advertising uh, your listings on social media. It's more about, hey, this is who I am. This is how I can help you out. Come to me if you need my assistance. It's a mindset. It is. I mean, it's it, when you're actually doing the marketing, please don't show me that three bedroom, two bath ranch and just pictures of it. Tell, tell us about you and why you're selling this house and, right. and, and create a story. So um, LinkedIn, of course, is a popular platform for mm -hmm. social media. Oftentimes people find it's a sleeper uh, yes. because it's it's more business to business. Right. Uh, but today you're going to tell uh, uh, realtors how they can benefit from using LinkedIn and maybe some tips or secrets. Right. The first thing you should know about LinkedIn is the fact that um, it really isn't business to business. I mean, it's all about relationships. Yeah. So you can th kind of think about it being more like Facebook, but you just get to put more business stuff on there like your awards and your resume, but it's still the same process at the core. It's still about going out and developing relationships with people because when it boils down to business, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. And that's right. Um, that's, that's where you have to start. And I think people struggle with LinkedIn because they see it as a business platform. So they only put business stuff on there as opposed to the quotes that, or, or as opposed to the quotes that you'll see on LinkedIn. So Probably one of the first tips that I would recommend for LinkedIn is to start to take some of your um, offline con connections online. So there's two great ways that you can do that with LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has a wonderful tool. Uh, 
uh, called hashtags. So you can use hashtags like you would with Snapchat to connect with people. So you can bring up your LinkedIn account and then either you can scan someone's hashtag if you meet them face to face, or you can use a QR code to, to scan it in and connect with that person instantly. So it eliminates the need to have business cards. Can I, can I interrupt you? Yeah, of course. So when you say add the hashtag, mm -hmm. is that like one would be adding the hashtag in Instagram or Facebook? Well, not hashtag, the QR code is what I, I think hashtag left out of my mouth. Right. But what I was thinking was QR code. So how do I scan someone's QR code? Oh my gosh, it's a good reason you asked. It's pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I a simple to, matter here, of going into LinkedIn. Let's ding. do it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So when okay. you go into LinkedIn, uh, you can go to the search option at the very top of the main screen of LinkedIn. And over in the corner of the search window, there's like four little cubes. And if you click on that, it'll bring up the option to either scan a LinkedIn code or Four to cubes. generate a LinkedIn code. Just help me real quick. I'm going to help you. It's right Dude, I didn't there. know there were... Who knew there were QR codes on LinkedIn? Anyone? Anyone out there? No, no. Right. No one knows this. So here's the, the cool thing. So you've got the camera on. You oh, do. I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you have two options with LinkedIn. So you can either... Your, I think your camera's too close. Oh. Yeah. Did Hopefully you? our Wi-Fi is up and running properly. Well, it doesn't properly. have to be. There you go. Oh, it's see, working. there you go. You got it. You got it. So you, that's the, basically the way it works. And now if you want to see your QR code... Uh, here, well, my let's camera's do both. on. Well, it doesn't matter. We've got both of them up. So I've got my QR code. Can you get my QR? Oh, my code. There you go. That's the the key. I was at a conference and I thought that the conference director did all this. I always thought it was so high tech. I can do it myself. You can do it yourself. Can you scan me? I can scan you. Yeah. But we're connected. This but is yeah, so let's, fun. Let's do it. I'm going to be QR. Oh, look at that. See, show we're just instant. Em. Show them. Show all. Wow. Look at that. See, I mean, that's the beauty, beautiful thing about it. And the good thing about LinkedIn, when you make these connections online you you stay in contact with people because if you get a business card it's going to sit on your desk you're not going to right. do anything with it but if you connect with people then you're going to do something with business cards by the way oh do just you just so you know oh yes. well letty ann does then i throw them away burton does but many people don't they have a stack of them so when you connect yeah. with them on linkedin you're staying in contact with people they're seeing what you're doing and it just helps you create those stronger relationships online. So when we just scanned each other's QR code, mm -hmm. which is really fun, I'll never forget today, right. the 28th, which is also my husband's birthday. But um, is that simply you're automatically, is that in lieu of me like uh, connecting with you? That's a quick way of connecting okay. with you. Yeah, okay. so rather than you trying to type in complicated names like Burton, Right. Letty Ann, about, those aren't common names. So we're not common. We're, well, they're, we're not common, right. no. But that's a quick way <laughs> that you can locate someone on LinkedIn, especially if you're a, like a business event. Love and it. that's the whole purpose uh, of it. it. Right. Beautiful. So rather than fumbling the cards, you just scan it. You're What's connected. our next tip? Just to keep this train yes, moving. Yes, let's, let's get that train going. So yep. the next tip is you need to make sure that your LinkedIn profile tells a story. So you need to make sure that your banner, the banner portion of your LinkedIn profile at the top, kind of tells people what it is that you do and how you and how you can help them. Banner is very important. Most people on LinkedIn, they have the blue portion. They don't have a banner filled out oh, at the no. top at all. And I'm really nervous. I'm checking mine. I think you have one. I hope I do. And while yeah. you're checking for your banner, Lady Anne, the next thing you want to do with LinkedIn is to make sure that you have a professional headshot. As here, part of your here profile. Here you are with Jasper Mirable. Yes, I know. Oh, boy. I know. I need, uh, can, we, can we hang out together? Yeah, of course. Did, yeah, did, you, did you eat while you were there? Was no, he he, no, he got bumped. So he didn't get to cook. So I didn't get to enjoy his food. I got to cook and he didn't. Yes. But that's a whole not. Look, let's stay focused. Sorry, I keep hitting. <laughs> I know. My producer's going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, focus. Yeah, so yeah, make sure you have yeah. a banner and then make sure that you've got a professional profile picture that makes you know makes you stand out and if you want to use a profile picture that is consistent across all of your brands of social media because mm -hmm. if someone connects with you on linkedin they're probably going to look around social media to find out what other platforms you're on so something in this decade actually it should be really something for the next decade you got it something for yeah. the next decade and right. just make sure it's professional the other thing you want to do with your linkedin profile is you want to make sure that it pretty much tells a story as far as the text in your LinkedIn profile. So you just don't want to put the standard boring, this is what I do, and if you come to me if you need to buy or sell a home, you want to make sure um, as a real estate agent that you're telling people how you're going to help them out. Whether you're a restager, if you're a business agent, if you're for homes, you tell that story and let people know how you're going to help them out. I encourage uh, our associates here at Letty Ann and Associates Real Estate Services to Tell people why you're different. Right. Because we all appear to be in the same pool. 
we have to differentiate ourselves from from the next and mm -hmm. uh, in order to stand out but yeah great right. tips so yep. rolling along right we're rolling all right our next tip is um, linkedin gives you the ability to say happy birthday to your contacts and i would highly recommend all agents take the time during the port during a portion of the day to go into linkedin and say happy birthday to those connections i do that on facebook yes. pretty religiously but I not LinkedIn. I think most people fall into that habit. They do it on Facebook, but they don't do it on LinkedIn. The good thing about LinkedIn is that it's going to come directly to someone's inbox as opposed to Facebook where they have to log into Facebook mm -hmm. and good. look well, and see excellent. see that. Point. Yeah, good reminder. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, and I would uh, back that up as far as saying happy birthday is to either find a graphic, um, liberate one off the internet, <laughs> or create your own, and you can use a software called Canva to yep. kind of make your own uh, customized happy happy birthday greetings. You could put your logo in the bottom. You can just make it as warm and fuzzy as you want. But graphics really stand out, especially when you're telling someone happy birthday. Because I think LinkedIn, kind of like Facebook, just lets you do the generic happy birthday. Right. You can even, you, it even is a choice. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you definitely want to add graphics to your happy birthday greeting just to kind of stand out and make sure that you're doing it on a regular basis, even weekends, because people kind of slack out, uh, slack off on the weekends when it comes to LinkedIn. But you definitely want to say those greetings uh, on weekends as well. And the fact that you took t the time to make a graphic is, um, it, it just shows how you're different. And, right. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, we're in the people business and the caring business and the helping business. That's and, right. Uh, let's be mindful of that for sure. Right. Exactly. One of the things I wouldn't do as far as anniversaries and birthdays are concerned is the job anniversaries. Because what happens with those is people will post a current job just to kind of update their LinkedIn profile. And it may look like they just started a new job at a place. And so it looks like you're really not paying attention to what's going on. If any time a work anniversary pops up. Then people just I, clip, happy anniversary, happy exactly. anniversary, happy anniversary. Right. Yes, without I, without really paying attention if I've they really change. I've and I'm like, mm. Yeah, so I, that's a really good tip because they make it so easy to wish someone a happy anniversary. Right. And then you'll have 10 people that you can go happy anniversary. And you're right, because just because you put the job in there and the date you started or it's, mm -hmm. yeah. So I good tip. All mm -hmm. right, what else you got? Well, as far as LinkedIn is concerned, you want to really make sure that you're posting organic content, meaning that you want to avoid posting links that lead you away to other websites. So if you've got content that you've posted on YouTube or maybe even on Facebook, you don't want to post that those links to any other website on LinkedIn because LinkedIn loves the organic stuff, meaning that you've got uh, audio or video that you're posting directly from your computer or phone to LinkedIn. LinkedIn loves that because it's on LinkedIn. So but if you, if in lieu of sharing, like share to LinkedIn, share to right. Uh, but what if you? I do do the share too because mm -hmm. I, I pay for some uh, update real estate updates daily with, right. on a national level. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I do is I read the article and then I do post the article, share it, but I I, I make it what's happening in the Midwest. Right. Like, okay, here's what's happening nationally. Mm -hmm. he, here's what I'm seeing here in the Midwest in Kansas and Missouri. So That's not helping your cause though because anytime you put a link on there, LinkedIn, it lowers it in the LinkedIn algorithm. I don't want to be lowered. You don't. That's I why know. you don't want to share a link. So you want oh, to no. either... Canceling that. Note to self, cancel that subscription. What you can do to avoid that, if you still want to post that link to that article, do it in the comment section below your main post. So you might want to have a graphic saying, hey, I ran across this great article. Um, you should check it out. And then, um, it. And then uh, comment on your own post with the link to the article, and that'll help raise it in the LinkedIn algorithms because anything organic goes up. Anything that isn't, it's pointing away from LinkedIn is going to go down in your feed. So yeah. let, that means to, to equate it, when, real, when agents <laughs> do it, it's going to make sure that uh, less people see it. So you want, you want it all organic. Organic. I like that. Right. Um, Next. So yeah, do you, or, or, I don't, I'm not sure how many you have. Uh, quite a few. Okay. But um, no, I'm I mean, doing this is fabulous. Like I'm going to have to rewind this and watch this myself. Yeah. Because I'm trying to take notes as we speak. But, yes. But uh, the next thing agents need to do is to sign up for LinkedIn Live. LinkedIn's got the ability to upload video, and the, keep in mind if you don't want to sign up for a live, you can load video up to LinkedIn, but you can only upload 10 minutes worth of video to the LinkedIn platform. But um, in, in one, so you can have one 10 minute segment. On, you got it. Okay. You got it. But LinkedIn Live, like Facebook Live, pretty much broadcast out to everyone when you go live. But unlike LinkedIn, what LinkedIn doesn't have the ability like Facebook in order to 
instantly just do live video. You have to sign up for it in order to take part of that process. I so, didn't even know there was a LinkedIn Live. Yes, there's LinkedIn Live. Did anyone? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to, I mean, it, they're rolling you it out. It's still kind of okay. in beta. So you, it was very important for you to get on the list to do LinkedIn Live because like Facebook Live, LinkedIn will show that video content to uh, probably five times as many people wow. when you go live. So it's a great platform. And with LinkedIn Live, you're not limited to that 10 minute um, threshold that you have with just uploading a live video. I think you can stream probably for at least an hour or more oh with gosh. LinkedIn Live because there's people that are have their own shows that are just sharing content on LinkedIn. We'll have to put this show on there. Yes, you will. LinkedIn but you've got to sign up this for LinkedIn great. Live. Yeah, oh my it's, gosh. Yeah, it's it's incredible. It's a it's a game changer, definitely. Wow. Yes. So you're in. There's a link. If you go within the LinkedIn platform, you can just do a search and type in for LinkedIn Live. It'll bring up the uh, link where you can go and fill out your credentials. But I will say that you have a greater chance as an agent for getting on LinkedIn Live if you already currently have content. Like Lady Ann, you already have a YouTube channel that kind of helps your cause, and it also helps your cause if you're regularly schedule or or not scheduling, but showcasing helpful tips and tricks. So agents need to realize, realize that not your current listing of what's in your inventory is not going to get you with LinkedIn Live. But when you're sharing tips and tricks or just regular feel good stuff on your LinkedIn uh, profile, it's going to really help your chances of getting accepted to do LinkedIn Live. So any uh, real estate professionals or business persons listening to us right now, this sounds like a full-time job, which if you, this, we're just talking LinkedIn. Right, so, exactly. I mean, if you look at all the other platforms, mm -hmm. I strongly encourage my associates and people that ask me, outsource, 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 but be comfortable with who you're outsourcing it to. I would suggest knowing that person so they know your personality because I don't uh, really want, f f there's certain content that I'd really rather not have because it's not my personality. Mm -hmm. So my per, my social media gal, she of course she's local because I'm all for support local KC folks, support local locally owned businesses. I'm I'm a big advocate of that. Uh, big box out. Let's really focus on uh, in, you know individually owned businesses, but uh, outsource to someone that you know, not someone down in you know. Uh, um, right. You know, in another country who's a virtual, I'll do mm -hmm. your social media. They don't know you. Right. And you really don't know who you're talking with. Right. So outsource some of the content, but I also do a lot of the lives myself because you got to showcase you. You do. Um, so uh, anyway, we, we have just a couple of minutes left, Burton. What's uh, one final tip for, for someone uh, in the LinkedIn? And then we want to, of course, give everyone your contact information uh, because you are uh, just... Uh, a genius in this uh, oh, in this arena, and you are very. I mean, you're you're just so approachable, and uh, of course, people know you because you're always on TV. Um, so uh, we appreciate your time and well, being here. Well, thank so. you. So, real quick, yep. the most important thing with LinkedIn and any social media platform is to be you. Just uh, make sure you, you tell your story. As agents and as business owners, you all have things that you are really passionate about. So share that passion so that people get to know who you are and just quit the selling and just focus on concentrating and building those strong relationships. Yeah, quit the selling. No need to convince. No need to uh, persuade. Uh, just be yourself. Provide value and uh, things will come. That's correct. So Burton, how can uh, anyone who might have a question for you or might want to enlist your services, how can they find you and where can they find you? Well, you can always find me <laughs> out in the field or on TV, as you said. But um, you, you can just email me at uh, Burton at callintegralnow.com. Um, our website is a good resource because we've got a blog on the website and tech tips and videos. So any uh, tech questions you have, you can go to the website and see that. And I'm also all over social media. So you can just find Burton Kelso on all of the platforms. And that's Burton, B-U-R-T-O-N, N Kelso, K-E-L-S-O, folks. Right. I'm even on Snapchat. You on Snapchat? I am, but only for my family. Oh, okay. My, my son said, don't go public on Snapchat. Oh, Mom. okay. So I, I never did. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun way to keep in touch with the kids. So it is. thank you so much for being here today. Thank uh, you. We look forward to having you back on another Real Estate You podcast with Letty Ann.